sorry. Uh, the, the rule, or the efficacy, better, of um, uh, Fox ultrasound in the palliation uh, of uh, uh, pain in the bone metastasis is, is, uh, is well established, is, is well known. And um, there are also uh, sufficient data about safety, about uh, the potential in uh, no response or radiation therapy uh, after radiation therapy treatment. And we, we got several trials and studies at our institute involving bone metastasis um, for uh, uh, palliation of, uh, um, of pain and for other reasons. Um, the, the, the question now in, uh, in, this, uh, in this field, I think, are three. The first is to better define the rule of uh, Fox ultrasound, so uh, to introduce, to better introduce the technique uh, in the clinical med management. The second is to understand if uh, there can be another option, another intention to treat this patient apart from palliation. I mean local tumor control. And the third uh, point is uh, to better uh, uh, define and uh, modify settings uh, in, in, in the operating room and in the technique with technical concern, patient selection, and so on. So the aim of this uh, uh, short presentation is to um, present the um, results uh, of, uh, the of the primary endpoint of the study um, based and focused on the uh, study of uh, um, local tumor control in patients with bone metastasis. So the primary endpoint of this study was the number of lesions with partial, partial or complete response at three months according to MD Anderson criteria. In uh, 51 patients and 56 lesions, we obtained a successful response uh, uh, if we consider that as a complete or partial response in approximately 50% of patients with a complete response in 22, a stable disease at three months in 42, and a progressive disease in eight. Primary cancer involved in this uh, uh, case series was, uh, were, uh, were several, and uh, as, as always at first, the breast cancer and the sites involved in the skeleton were uh, uh, different, but the most were at the pelvis. Uh, if we uh, get a statistical analysis of uh, uh, different factors that can uh, uh, affect or uh, uh, be involved in the uh, success, in determining the success of this procedure with this, uh, with this aim, we can see that uh, the only factor that uh, matter is uh, uh, size. Uh, when we have a, a completely accessible lesion, uh, we have to look at the size and the extra compartmental involvement of the lesion. I present just a few cases to show you some uh, examples. Uh, this case is a, a metastasis of breast cancer with no previous local treatment that uh, obtained a very nice uh, uh, metabolic response after three months. This other case uh, shows how also hypervascular lesions, such as this one uh, of, uh, from thyroid cancer, can uh, be successfully treated, not just for pain palliation, but also for um, control of the lesion uh, that, uh, that was completely ablated and remained stable at the subsequent follow-up, even after the three months follow-up. This other case that shows you how uh, even lesions next to the skin uh, in very relevant uh, uh, portions of the skeleton, um, like the lower limbs, uh, can be successfully uh, accessed with very satisfying uh, uh, temperature uh, elevation uh, increase in, uh, in, the, in the area, in the whole area uh, affected by the lesion. And, uh, and with, the, for example, in this uh, plain radiograph, an initial response after three months that was uh, confirmed and uh, uh, more, uh, uh, more pronounced after six months, as you can see with the osteoblastic uh, and, the, um, uh, and the reaction of bone. Uh, intraarticular lesions, too, can be, um, uh, can be faced, like in this case, with a successful positioning that uh, placed the lesion in the posterior aspect of the shoulder with a good uh, acoustic window and with uh, a very nice uh, uh, ablation of the lesion and the subsequent follow-up uh, at three months. But, uh, as you can see, a very nice ablation of the lesion and uh, a, a bad uh, and uh, uh, symptomatic uh, 
uh, ablation also and uh, burn of the muscle, of the infraspinatus muscle, that was uh, painful for at least uh, one to two months. So large lesion, uh, when they are accessible, are, uh, are, are the, 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 the dimension, the size of the lesion is the most relevant factor. We can see here two different lesions, uh, one on the right and the other on the left, that were um, treated in this patient. And uh, we can see how the first lesion, that is very large with a soft tissue component, um, uh, increased after three months, while the second one on the left uh, was, uh, was, uh, was successfully uh, controlled. Um, Accessibility in terms of uh, uh, when, you, when you think to treat a lesion, you have to think about uh, complete accessibility if you, your uh, aim is not uh, pain palliation but uh, the ablation, complete ablation of the lesion. So that the, in this case, uh, we have a very nice uh, uh, dose uh, all over the lesion, but uh, we cannot uh, uh, face and uh, reach this, uh, this portion of the lesion. So in this case, we could not uh, uh, have a, a complete uh, ablation uh, at follow-up. In conclusions, we can say that uh, there are factors that uh, uh, are involved in, the, in determining the success of the technique uh, for tumor, tumor, uh, local tumor control. First, uh, it is uh, uh, the, 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 the first thing to, to have is the complete accessibility, the open acoustic windows uh, for the ultrasound beam. Second, the, the most relevant factor is uh, the, uh, the size of the lesion, especially uh, if you have a lesion under seven centimeters, you, uh, you can be very uh, confident of your success. And uh, uh, an osteolytic or mixed pattern can uh, uh, be more uh, um, easy to be uh, treated and, uh, and to be completely uh, ablated. So uh, this data can support the uh, potential rule of focus ultrasound, not just for pain palliation, but also for this second intent, with the future uh, where uh, we can see uh, the, the technique uh, treating not just uh, painful metastasis, but also uh, metastasis for, uh, for the lesion itself. And I thank you very much for your attention. So we have time for questions, though. Yeah, OK. So the paper is open for questions, please. I'll just yell. Um, you showed one excellent case where you had new bone formation after treatment. Do you think that that's a good predictor of success in palliation as well as uh, local control? I mean, I, I've done a lot of percutaneous ablation, and we don't always get that new bone formation. So that, that one case you showed was was mm -hmm. very nice, actually. Uh, um, I, I think that uh, um, this, this is not mm, totally related to both the results. I mean, the, the um, uh, results in terms of uh, uh, local tumor control are independent, are relatively or statistically independent from our case series from the uh, results uh, in pain palliation. So uh, I don't actually know if uh, the bone formation is, uh, is a good thing for both. In this case, for, uh, for uh, both pain palliation and uh, uh, local tumor controls was a good, uh, a good finding. Um, second, I have mm, just to remind that uh, all these cases were treated not for, uh, 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 with the first purpose of uh, ablating the lesion, because you see also uh, the range of the side was uh, very big, uh, up to 14, 16 uh, uh, centimeters. But, uh, uh, but the first intent was, uh, uh, local, uh, was a pain palliation. So if we try to um, uh, have a selection, uh, more focused, more, more uh, uh, narrowed selection of patients, uh, uh, and uh, an intention, a primary intention of ablation, may, we may also have uh, a more successful uh, uh, result. I may reinforce this point with my experience because um, it happened to me as well that I treated 
partially deletion because it was just for uh, periosteal uh, ablation, and then I eventually ended up having uh, a newborn formation. So, uh, and, and this was independent also from other treatments, other systemic treatments. That is very relevant, very relevant. Um, I would just say that this is probably a subgroup that we need to look at carefully because right. in other forms of ablation, including radiation, you don't always see that reaction or that ability for the bone to heal itself. And I think that this is a potentially interesting subgroup Absolutely. to study. Yeah, completely. Thanks. Thank you. I agree. A uh, quick question, Alberto. Uh, very nice oh, results, of course. Um, with the usual periosteal ablation, the recovery is usually about three days or so before they're back to kind of how they were, maybe even better. W with these uh, cases where you've done a tumor ablation, what's the recovery like? How do you manage them afterwards? How does it differ from the periosteal ablation? Yeah, these cases were all uh, treated with the primary intent of uh, pain palliation. So. I suppose that uh, when uh, we, we try to push to, to give more jewel uh, in the lesion, uh, we can also have a, a little bit of more uh, pain after the treatment. But uh, these are not, uh, I, I can say just uh, anecdotally, not, not on, a, on a different basis. Thank you. On a weight-bearing um, area, this is a question that I always get, so I'm happy that I can um, uh, give it to you. Uh, do you um, need any cementoplasty after the treatment? Did mm. you ever experience the need for uh, no, cementoplasty? The, the, uh, every, every patient with a lesion uh, affecting a weight-bearing area uh, must be also evaluated by a surgical point of view, of course. Uh, for potential uh, pathological fractures, but uh, in my case, uh, in, my ca in my case series, uh, in our case series, um, uh, we, we do not experience any uh, real uh, um, needing, uh, and uh, for, for these, I mean, yeah. after that, after, uh, and um, yeah, the, the 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 bone were not so. Um, weakened by the treatment, yeah. I mean, as you can see in the, in the tibial treatment. Or I can show you, I could show you also other proximal femur treatment with uh, no uh, disasters after the treatment. So, uh, of course, the lesion itself uh, is, uh, is in, bad, uh, in a bad zone, but uh, the treatment itself uh, does not seem to be so, uh, so a problem for that. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you.